listen, we've all had that foundation where we're like, yes, this is my match. We put it on and we're really confident it's our match and it is nowhere near our match. So in today's video, we are discussing choosing your perfect foundation. So if you guys are interested, just continue to watch. All right, so, so we're gonna get right into this video. So first thing is first, when choosing a foundation, you wanna make sure that you know all about you. You wanna make sure you know your skin type, your skin tone, and your undertone. These are the three main things you need to figure out before even looking for a foundation. So first thing is skin type. So when we talk about skin type, we're talking about whether you are oily skin, combination skin, dry skin, sensitive skin, acne prone skin, hyperpigmentated. A lot of these things are important when determining your skin type. Now for me personally, I have combination skin in general, but my skin type can change with the season, with hormones, just day-to-day -day environmental aggressors. A lot of that stuff can come into play when it comes to my skin type. For example, right now we're in winter. My skin is super dry. I have a lot of dryness going on out here. Summer, very oily. So that's why I say I'm very combination. T-zone meaning my forehead, my nose, around my pore area, my chin. These areas tend to pick up oil a lot more faster. So I have diagnosed myself with being combination skin. On top of being combination skin, I also do suffer with hyperpigmentation. So I have a lot of darkness and dark spots. When I get acne, I do get left with these little dark patches on my face. So really just analyzing your skin, knowing what your skin type is, is key number one step for sure. All right, so the next thing you wanna figure out is your skin tone. So there's about four major skin tone categories. So those are light, medium, dark, and deep. Now, women of color we can fall mainly between dark and deep. Now for me, I fall mostly in the category of deep. I'm a very deep skin toned woman. So most of my foundations will say deep something or warm deep. That is important. So you wanna figure out which section you fall in, either light, medium, dark, or deep. And you could really just do this obviously by looking at yourself and just really analyzing what you are. So for me, I, I'm pretty sure I fall in the deep category and you're gonna find in a lot of your foundations that they are gonna be using these terms. So deep, medium, light. These are what will really help you choose your foundation. So pro tip is not to judge your skin tone or anything based on the back of your palm. So me showing you guys my wrist, you could automatically automatically see this is two different skin tones I cannot judge my foundation shade based on this you want to always look at your skin a good thumb rule is to just judge your jawline your jawline is always going to be your main point because it's right between your entire face and your neck you want to make sure your face and your neck is matching at all times your true tone is usually right here just on your jawline. All right, and the last type is your undertone. So I have a whole video on finding your undertone. I'll leave it in the cards above for you to check out. But when you're finding your undertone, there is a few tips that are very handy in figuring this out. So there's three different subcategories. So we have cool, we have medium, and we have neutral undertones. So these are important to know. So your cool undertones usually lean more towards red and pink pigments. Your warm Warm undertones are usually yellow, peachy, and golden pigments, and your neutral is a mixture of the two. Now, this took me a while to figure out. I always thought I was maybe, you know, a warm undertone, but I realized that I myself am a neutral undertone, meaning I have a mixture of yellow and red undertones. So I have a really nice mix of the two. Now, these are ways that you could figure out what your undertone is. So you want to look on your wrist. So right here on your wrist you are able to see your veins if your vein is more of a bluish tint 
you are leaning more towards a cool undertone. If the veins in your wrists are more of a green undertone, you are leaning more towards a warm undertone. And if you do not know, it's a combination of the both bluish greenish, you are most likely neutral as myself. Another good tip is the jewelry you wear. Now, my skin works well with gold. I personally like gold. It just complements my skin tone. It works well for me. However, I can get away with wearing silver as well it doesn't look the greatest in my opinion but I could still get away with wearing that you always want to make sure to see how your jewelry complements your skin tone this will be the perfect guide on just figuring out whether you are cool warm or neutral undertone so just a quick recap before we go into the actual foundation so first you want to figure out your skin type are you dry skin oily skin combination what type of skin type do you have? Next, you wanna figure out your skin tone. Are you light, medium, are you dark? And then you wanna figure out your undertone. Are you a cool undertone, warm undertone, or a neutral undertone? These are the first steps into choosing your foundation. Now, let's get into the actual foundation. So over the years, I've accumulated all of these foundations. Now, it took me a while to choose foundations that match me. Listen, we've all had that foundation where we're like, yes, this is my match. We put it on and we're really confident it's our match and it is nowhere near our match. So do not be ashamed if you have some foundations that just don't match you because it's a thing. I used to go based on, oh, like this looks like it will match, I'm gonna get this. No, there's a few factors you need to take into consideration when choosing a foundation. So before you put a foundation all over and just really decide that that's the foundation you're gonna go with, you wanna do a swatch test. So a swatch test is just swatching the foundation on your jawline. Now we do it on our jawline so that we could see the correlation between our neck and the rest of our face. So we wanna make sure that that foundation is matching us perfectly. So I have these four foundations. I have the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. This has been one of my go-tos. Another one I have is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Sunscreen Foundation. This one I got a while ago. You have never seen it because guess what? It doesn't match. The next foundation is my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Again, you guys have never seen me wear this in my tutorials because it's not a match. <laughs> and you could see like looking at looking at the jar that it could possibly be a matte. But when I put it on, you guys are going to see. And then the last one I have is my House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. This one is considered another good match for me. So I have two good matches and two bad matches. So we're going to do a swatch test on the face. I'm going to start with the bad matches. So the first one is my Maybelline Urban Dream Cover Foundation. So we're just going to do a swatch like that. Next, I'm going to go in with my NARS All Day Luminous Foundation, and that is the second swatch. Next, I'm going in with my Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. I'm going to actually put the last one here. So I'm going to put the House Labs Triclone Foundation next. All right, so now you can see the swatches on my jawline. You will be able to tell which ones are for you based on the name of the foundation itself. So for example, my House Labs foundation, this is in the shade Medium Deep Neutral. And I chose this online without any tests, with me just knowing my basic knowledge on my skin type, my skin tone, and my skin undertone. And as you guys know, this is one of my perfect matches. So this one was this one right here. So as you guys can see, these are the swatches. So I'm gonna take my makeup wipe here and I'm just gonna get rid of the ones that are definitely not my match. So this one here is way too yellow for my skin. We don't wanna be looking yellow. It's not matching my neck, it's not matching my skin. So we could automatically rule that one out gonna get rid of that one so that leaves us with these three and you could really look at them and be like oh those are all the same colors no they're not now this one here this one was the NARS this one you could tell has some red undertone in it that is not what I am I'm a neutral so I need it to have a bit of warmness in it as well so we definitely can't go with that or else I'm gonna be looking very dark and red and it's just not going to be my natural skin tone so we definitely want to get rid of that 
which leaves us with these two. Now, they do look really close in color. This one is a bit lighter, but I can get away with it. Whereas this one is very neutral. So this one was my House Labs foundation. And then this one was my Makeup by Mario foundation. So you could see that these are pretty much two shades that I can work with. I'm going to blend them out so you could see. All right, so that was my House Labs. And then this one is my Makeup by Mario. So you see how both of them just literally disappeared into my skin. You can barely see it. It matches my neck. It matches my jaw. It will match the rest of my face. This is what you want when choosing a foundation. So, all right, y'all, we are ready to apply the foundation. So first things first, you wanna make sure you go in with a primer. I've been loving my LA Girl Pro Prep Primer. I love how it just makes my makeup just look really smooth and blurred. So you just wanna make sure you're using a primer that is for your skin type. All right, so foundation of choice is my Makeup by Mario. We're gonna go in with this one today. Now, depending on your skin type, you wanna go for a foundation that works with your skin. So if you do have oily skin, you want to make sure you're using a foundation that is catered to oily skin. So those are foundations that claim they are matte or even just very natural. If you are dry skin, you wanna lean more over towards a hydrating foundation, something that's going to keep your skin very hydrated. If you're sensitive skin, you wanna make sure you're using very natural, Based products things that will not irritate the skin if you have pigmentation like myself you want to go for more medium to full coverage foundations foundations that will cover your pigments and just conceal anything that you need to conceal so for me I like to go to foundations that are more medium to full coverage if you are someone who just has beautiful skin nothing to worry about you can pretty much wear anything you are free to go <laughs> But yeah, you really want to make sure you are choosing the right foundation for your skin type. So I like to apply my foundation on the back of my hand. This one is the House Labs foundation brush. This is one of my favorite brushes. I'm going to do one side with a brush and the other side with my sponge. So with the brush, I'm just going to dip into that and just kind of warm it up on the back of my hand. And then we're just going to dab that into the skin. And you can see how this is just automatically getting rid of my hyperpigmentation and just concealing those areas. All right, so this is one side compared to the other side. And you guys could see that that was not a big difference in terms of my skin tone. It literally looks like the same color. All I did was conceal all of my dark spots, my hyperpigmentation, really gave me a very smooth canvas on the side. So I'm gonna do the same thing and pump this foundation on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna use my fingers to just place this all over my face. I like this method because it gives me control on how much I am putting on my face. And then we're just going to take the butt end of the sponge and blend it out. Now using a sponge will not give you the most coverage as a brush. Um, this is honestly good for whether you wanna go very lightweight and natural. All right, so that is how my skin is looking after applying foundation. Now, everything after this is free game. You can do your concealer, you can do blush, you can do whatever you wanna do once your foundation is on. So I'm going to quickly finish up the rest of my makeup off camera and just show you guys the finishing look with a foundation that matches. All right guys, so this is the finished look with the foundation on. So I just did some concealer, some blush, I didn't do any lashes today, just want to do something very simple today. So this is how your makeup should be looking when you are using the right foundation. So I hope today's video helped you guys a lot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you are a new sis to my channel, sis, make sure you are subscribed. Hit the bell so that you're notified each time I upload. I realize some of you guys are not hitting that bell. Y'all need to know every time I upload. I do upload every Saturdays at 11 a.m., but you guys need to hit that bell so that you are always informed. Also, if you haven't checked out my recent video, I did do a eyeshadow tutorial, more colors going on as you guys requested. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, I'll leave it on the screen right here so that you guys could check it out. And yeah, that is about it, guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.